drivers, start your engines! Green, green, green. Fans that are my age, I'm in my 50s, and I remember this clearly as a young man, as a fan, 1978, uh, summer of 1978, uh, and, and you'll see it superimposed on the screen there. Uh, basically, in the whole frame is uh, a plume of smoke out of the shot, one of the more famous shots, uh, you know, in, in uh, the late 70s in motorsports and even on wide older sports, uh, thrill of victory and the agony defeat, and that's... Ken Rowley here, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Uh, uh, it happened at the Texas World Speedway in a USAC stock car race uh, with uh, uh, your friend Bob Keselowski, no less. Uh, maybe talk about that a little bit. You know what what started it, and, and you know just take us through that if you will. Well, we were it's early in the race, and uh, well, Bob he blew a motor going at three, and then I come along and. Get some oil or something. Now, Texas is fast. We're not fast. talking some short no, track. No, we're talking, you know, 180, something like that. And anyway, so I spun and I turned around. I was going to, I already come and start down to the bottom so I can go in and get some different tires. And, and this Ricky Otts from Texas. He met me down there. <laughs> he come and not the, such a nice way. Uh, no, no. I'm, <laughs> But, uh, and as soon as he hit me, the whole car exploded because he took the whole top off the fuel cell and just blew up. And I jumped out of the car probably, I don't know how fast we're going, but I was down. You never knew you could move so fast, right? <laughs> no, no. Well, I went right through the curtain because it was already on fire. And so anyway, I landed on the ground and rolled they picked me up and threw me on a stretcher and took me. To the... A lot of people don't know to. I mean, when you see people on fire, they were they're running, you yeah. know. But you actually stopped, dropped, and rolled. So yeah. you had the presence of mind to. Yeah. Well, okay, this I way jumped. Can... I rolled. <coughs> well, well, once never, after you I jumped, never got, I never got to run on the ground. <laughs> wow. But uh, I figured it's a lot better out there. Well, you don't have no time to think. I mean, you know, you just hold your breath. And I mean, that's all I did, and I got burned a little bit. I got banged up a little bit, but I'm still here. Now, is, now you had some discoloration in your cheek there. No. Is that from the fire, or no. is that that's not from the fire? No. I'd, I'd always thought that. Okay, so yeah, good to dispel that rumor. Yeah. No, that's, but, a, that's a birthmark. Oh, gotcha. Or whatever you want to call them. But you can. That's a better story though to say. Oh yeah, that happened in Texas, I guess, right? I used to tell, <laughs> I used to tell kids that too. They, <laughs> you know, kids in the track will always come up and bug me, and uh, I didn't get. Yeah, I got burned. <laughs> <laughs> but you know that's just the way kids are. But, uh, now the lung, the lung issue. Did that happen from the the fire? That as probably well? didn't help it. <laughs> right. But I've been around, you know, all that and chemicals and all that, and, and I did smoke back then, and like a lot of people, and. More ways than one that day. Yeah. Sorry, very bad joke, but uh. no, 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 yeah. <laughs> but anyway, we loaded the car up and and, by, and not to interrupt you, but oh. for those people that are going to comment that I just laughed about this, I got yelled at before. Brad Smith was in a fire, oh. and he was in a. Uh, I'm sure you've seen that wreck from yeah. Talladega. Yeah. I was doing Brad Smith's PR, and we we had laughed about it, 
and the comment section blew up. Oh, you insensitive bastard. You're laughing. And <laughs> I'm going, oh, my God. Brad and I have talked about this a hundred times. Five, six years removed. We're laughing about it now. You know, I'm not laughing at you. Yeah, know. You know, you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm I... not laughing. Oh, ha, ha. You almost got burned and died. You know what I mean. <laughs> so, people, before you start commenting, anyway, yeah, it's all yeah. about me. I know. But anyway, so, <laughs> but, um, so... <clears throat> You're on the ground rolling around. I mean, do you know how long this, from the time you got hit until the time they threw you on the stretcher was? I mean, they it, say it takes a lifetime, but what, maybe a couple? No, it wasn't. It a minute and a half, like two minutes? Long. I was just kind of laying there going, you know. Am I here? Yeah, <laughs> Am I alive? Yeah, you know. And they picked me up, and then they took me into the hospital and all this, you know. And I wouldn't, I had a few burns and stuff and on my back and stuff, but. Not on my back, but I mean, hurt my back a little bit. Yeah. And so I said, I'll go to the hospital when I get back to normal Illinois. I'm sure they didn't want to hear that. <laughs> no, they didn't. They were more concerned about my wrist. Oh, okay. Because I got buckshot in my wrist. I got shot when I was in high school. <laughs> so, I mean, it was accidental. But, sure. Uh, and he was more worried about that the, on the x-ray. He says, what's this? And I had to tell him, <laughs> what do you mean, what's this? Do you realize this is what I just went through? <laughs> what do you mean, what's that? <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, I got back up to Illinois. It was a long trip in the motorhome home. And I'm sure. It, 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 you know, people, some people would ask me, you know, how bad it, that you have dreams about it. No, I never did. Well, you were back in the car. It wasn't long after that. Yeah, but <coughs> you guys got the kit car. Yeah. 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 Oh, that soon. Okay. Yeah. Well, Months one month. month. Wow. <laughs> Maybe a little over a month. I can't. It was, we went back to Milwaukee, and I went back about one race too soon because I, I couldn't make the whole race. I, you know, I got hot. I mean, it was Milwaukee, and you know. Right. And uh, so, you know, but after that, you know. But here, here's the question I got. I got to ask you. What did the boss say? Was the boss there that day? Gail. <laughs> oh, yeah. Was she a Texas she, there that day? She was okay. There. Yeah. And how did that go? Her mom and dad were there. And, okay. And uh, Rusty, he, I think he picked, well, Gail said, I think he had me up in the air because they were running down in the corner. Wow. And they met her dad at the infield center. And she, he told her I got out and I was she calmed down because they come out with a needle there you know, give her a shot to calm <laughs> down but, uh, but no we've never really said too much about it you know it was bad but you know every time you get in one of them things it can be bad sure yeah so you gotta accept it but she never said you know I'm, I kind of don't want you to do this anymore no 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 she okay. knew I wouldn't <laughs> <laughs> now, if she would have, would you have quit? No. No? <laughs> That's probably what she didn't say, right? She's like, I'm not even going to bother. <laughs> uh, no, no. No, I, no, not long. I had something to drive. I would, I, would, I would want to drive. Do you think maybe that's also why maybe uh, uh, Mr. Hendren said, eh, I'm going to step away for a little while? Do you think maybe that, that was maybe that, my, watching his guy perhaps? No, no. I had nothing to do with it. Uh, it was just just that way I mean he was still there all them years he you know the motor he's working on the car or something you know no he was there all every every one of them years and but just there for a while that my father-in-law and my rusty and me we had the car and uh, but you know that gun to an end so this little bill took everything and, <laughs> and they got moved into a big place and Big money and all that, and, had it. and they had. Well, I called Bob straight. He come and drove for. So. Right, right. So. So we were talking about your claim to fame with Parnelli Jones at Ontario. Maybe <laughs> talk about that a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. I, I Farnelli was starting about two rows ahead of me, and he walked by. And about a month or two before that, 
he was on one of these celebrity bowling things, and all he could do was <laughs> throw gutter balls. <laughs> and so I hollered at him. I said, Parnelli, do you still know how to drive better than bowl? <laughs> and he thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> and then during the race, I was able to pass him coming off the floor. That was pretty good. I liked that. But, uh, A lot of people yeah. got all excited about the Brickyard, you know. And we're going to run the Brickyard, but Ontario was exactly the same it's thing. Same, same. Yeah. yeah. How, did, how did it... How did you like driving that, that flat? Well, it wasn't that bad. I mean, but I, I dropped a cylinder, and uh, AJ and uh, Rut, Rut, Joe, mm -hmm. AJ went by me. I was, it, it, yellow was out, but he was slowing down a little bit and uh, cracked my windshield. The, the, oh, the, boy. Anyway, but that didn't stop us. But, AJ passed me on the yellow, and then he reached out and waved for me to come back by him because he, otherwise they get penalized. Right, 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 right. And, and so I passed him back, and then they wanted to penalize me. Oh, figures. And I right? told him, I said, no, 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 no. You, you would tell, I, I want to protest him. And, <laughs> and AJ real quick said, no, I waved him around. <laughs> otherwise he wouldn't have won the race. Right, right. And, but uh, Joe Rutman, he, he was a classic guy. He lives around here, if I'm not mistaken. I, I know he lives in Florida. I haven't seen him for... I know he lives in Florida, uh, but I'm not sure. I, I believe on the, the golf side here. Oh, really? But I'm not, I'm not last, sure. Exactly last time I seen him was in... Well, we were down at the coin. He was over... He, driving, or he wasn't driving any car, but he was standing with a bunch of guys. And I was going out to practice or qualify or something. And I, I looked over and I seen him. I said, I hollered at him. He, he hollered back and I said, Damn, been a long time. You know. <laughs> he looks the same. Yeah, <laughs> there he, does. Okay. he was one of our first guests on the show three years ago when we started. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it was a good, yeah. good time with Joe. You know, Joe tells stories. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Speak, yeah. Speaking of stories, <clears throat> um, you know, early 80s, writings on the wall for USAC, yeah. stock car series. Um, you know, they had the plane crash in 78. Yeah. Some people claim that. That maybe that was, you know, the the beginning of the end. I mean, I don't know what your your opinion is on that, but you know, I mean, less and less races, no more pavement, pretty much all dirt. You know, you guys lost Milwaukee. Yeah. You know. Well, my take of the whole thing was look, they should have paid more attention to the stock cars than they did the Indy cars, because back then, before. They were really, USAC stock cars were really ahead of NASCAR. And uh, then after, you know, they kept plugging the Indy cars. Well, then you got CART come out, and that kind of busted up that. And so, I mean, that's the way I feel about it. Well, and then in 1984, mm -hmm. you got a three race schedule. Yeah. I mean, that's, you know, and then, and if I'm not mistaken, two of those were ARCA combination events. Or, or at least yeah. one, yeah. Uh, you know, at most two, but you had Springfield, DeCoin, and Eldora. Yeah. And, well, you you tell the, the, the Eldora story. You can tell it better than I can, because <laughs> you, well, had, you had the two races and you had one left at Eldora. Yeah, we, well, let's see, we finished third, I think, DeCoin. I can't remember what we finished. I believe it was but, third. But it was, it was decent. I mean, it was up in the top five, I think. I don't remember, but and then we got over to Eldora, and uh, we were having qualifying races, and it rained, so they canceled it for the day. We would come back the next, come back three weeks in a row, but uh, and I was second in points, but then Goldsberry, he he wrecked his car. So they wasn't coming back. Also, all I had to do was start to race, and I would win the. You're the champ, right? And they ran it all out, uh. <laughs> and they canceled the whole race. So just my luck. So, oh well. So we we saw some muddy patches on your knees. Please let's run this race. Yeah. Come on. Well, they could have ran it the first day if they just waited a while, but they didn't. Promoters, yeah. I I heard John Markham. This is the way John Markham used to be. If if he thought there was rain in the area. He pulled his hat off. Oh, really? And if he felt one drop of rain, that's it. We're going home. Because yeah. he felt then the fans feel the yeah. same way. 
probably does. Is what I've heard. So, I mean, I don't know how Earl Baltus did it. I would assume yeah. he's that old type of promoter. But he just flip his hat up and go. Flip his hat up and run. <laughs> count, count the gate. But, uh, yeah, so you were technically the the winner of the last ever you Yeah, they had, a, they had the last little heat race. Uh, heat race or whatever I wanted. But it's, it wasn't meant to be. Well, but then you guys, you know, shifted your attention to ARCA. And uh, and then you got that uh, the Murata. Uh, yeah. Uh, what what we, led to the Murata? Huh? What led to the? You, you guys had the Murata. I mean, were you guys we thinking had, maybe we need to get rid of GM? I mean, not a lot of Chrysler stuff out there. <laughs> well, we did, but it was all old and, and wore out. We took the car that we bought from Bay, the kit car, and we sold it to a guy who run short track to run, you know, whatever. And then I went out in the shop and dug out every piece we could find, <laughs> cleaned them all up, and we sold everything we could and uh, get our hands on to get you know, old parts and stuff. To, and then I called Bob and, and went up and he gets Lowski and he built some new chassis. So that's, that's how that started. And then meanwhile, I went. They, at one time, uh, Chrysler, well, Larry Ratcap sent me a new Marauder body. Wow. And, I mean, every piece. I mean, I, luckily, Gail's, my wife's uncle, had a Chrysler dealership. Okay. <laughs> so they sent everything there. And then I had to go pick it up. But, but then I, then we got <clears throat> another deal going with the car, so... I sold all the <laughs> Chrysler stuff. <and laughs> we went to Martinsville one time. The Chrysler wanted us to go to Martinsville. So Ramo Stock, <clears throat> he come by with his hauler and put mine on top and his on the bottom. And away we go. We get down to Martinsville. And they didn't want us there at all. <laughs> <laughs> And well, they wrecked Brantman during practice. They wrecked Ramo. And I have seen what they were doing now with him. And, I mean, they just rang right at the wall. And uh, then me, I got out there and pfft, the guy missed me. <laughs> <This one guy. laughs> I, I wasn't running fast enough to get in the race. <laughs> So we loaded up and it had big headlines on the paper. And, uh, you know, the South sends Detroit home. <laughs> wow! So, but uh, don't don't tell me that that still ain't going on. You know, that's, uh, that's the North versus the South thing is definitely still going on, especially in racing. You know, well, <laughs> I, I was just talking racing. Well, all right, <laughs> but you know, yeah. in, in racing, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 